What is up my friends and welcome to the video. So today we are making four unbelievable burger variations, macro friendly, tasty, delicious, and easy as hell to make. Remember full recipes always in the description below. And it would mean the absolute world to me if you could hit that thumbs up button right now. And if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below which one of these you're gonna try first, picking three of you guys to win a copy of whatever recipe book of mine you choose. And also if you wanna snag any of my recipe books, first link in the description below. Let's get into the first recipe, which is gonna be the fajita crunch wrap burger. First thing you need to do is take your peppers you're gonna slice them up thinly then you're gonna set them to the side i use a nice assortment of peppers here i got the green the red the orange and the yellow and then we got the yellow onion of course so you're gonna thinly slice that then you're gonna take your cast iron skillet and get it super duper hot and i like to use avocado oil when i'm cooking super hot because it tends to not denature uh, it's just a really good oil to use whenever you're cooking on high high temperatures so you're just gonna need to be patient with your peppers about eight to ten minutes they'll start to soften up then you're going to take your ground beef i use 93.7 you can use 96.4 keep the fat down a little bit more so what you're going to do is take your burger press i use these parchment paper sheets this is really easy to form your burgers this way then you're going to salt each side of your burger add to your pan on about a six out of ten heat then you're going to cook till it starts to brown up the sides then i add a little bit of yellow mustard on top that's a pro tip guys to just have a super moist burger then you're going to take your avocado slice it in half take it out then you're going to mash it into an avocado mash as you can see then you're going to take your large flour tortilla add your avocado then a little bit of your peppers and onions then you're going to add one of your burgers some cheese and another one of your burgers then you're going to wrap it like a crunch wrap then you're going to add it to your air fryer for about six minutes on 360 degrees fahrenheit spray with some nonstick cooking spray then bada bing bada boom slice it up and then it is time to enjoy my friends I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, guys. I mean, what in the f Oh my God. This is flavor on flavor on flavor. Oh man. This is ridiculous. I'm feeling some type of way. I'm glad we have the camera above the waist, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of the scaracha on there. Mm. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Mm. That just takes it to a whole another level. Wow! Put the sriracha on it. If you like sriracha, damn, damn, son, where'd you find this one? You guys hear that? Damn, son, where'd you find this one? Right? Damn. So next up, we have the chicken burgers. These. I just did not think with just chicken breast, I was gonna be able to have something this damn good. So first thing you need to do is take about 50 to 75 grams of your red pepper and dice it up. And then you're gonna take your green onion and do the same. Next up, you're gonna take your chicken breast. This is about 20 ounces of chicken. And then you're just gonna flatten them. I use my fist, this is super convenient. Then you're going to slice them up. You could do this in a food processor if you wanted to, but uh, I find it's much better if you just take your time, use your knife, slice it up nice and fine. Then you're gonna add your pepper peppers, your green onions, your salt, your black pepper, your garlic powder, and then you're going to mix it all together. And then you're going to slowly start to mince it all together with your knife again. And then you're going to split it up into four equal parts to make your four chicken burgers. So now you're going to take your cast iron skillet, preheat it and onto about a six out of 10 heat. You're going to have it sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. And then I use my burger press to flatten the burgers. And I like the smash burger type of vibe. You're going to cook on this side for about five minutes. Then you're going to flip and then and cook on the other side for about another three to five minutes till you see this crust. Then once you've done all four, you're gonna take your patties, add your cheese on top. I like to add a little bit of water to melt the cheese, add a cover on top once it's melted, take out, and then it's time to put together the burger. You're gonna take your patty, add it to a toasted brioche bun. You're gonna add your avocado, then your burger, then your sriracha, and then it's time to enjoy my friends. Just, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Holy mama. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Freaking wow. This is insane. Mm. This is gonna, this is gonna blow your ever loving mind, dog. This is with just a chicken breast. This is just a chicken breast. I didn't have to use a chicken thigh. 
I didn't have to use any of that. This is fire. Little smashed chicken burger. Look at the layers, man. The freaking trident layers. Mm. Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god. I can't stop eating it. Just when I thought the chicken burger was like my favorite, this might be my favorite. Like, I'm not gonna lie. This was unbelievable. So first thing you need to do like before, the red peppers and the patty is amazing, just like the green onions as well. It's a it's a cheat code. So you're gonna take your peeled and deveined shrimp. I actually use frozen shrimp. I, I thawed them out and it's way cheaper and they're actually much easier to work with. So what you're gonna do exactly what you see here, you're just gonna chop them up nice and fine and then you're just gonna mince with your knife and you're just gonna continue to do that until it's not too chunky. You don't want it too chunky. So then you're gonna add your red pepper, your green onion, your salt, black pepper, and then garlic powder and then you're gonna mix it all together. So what you're gonna see here in a second is I didn't add panko to the patties. I will, you'll see also once I make the first patty, I'm actually gonna go back and add breadcrumbs in there because it's just not, it's a little fragile. And I think what you could do is if you wanted them not to have to have the breadcrumbs in there, you'll just need to food process it and make it a lot more sticky, AKA like not these thick chunks like I have. And once your patties are formed, you're gonna make your bang bang sauce. You're gonna add Greek yogurt, light mayonnaise and sriracha, mix it all together, super simple and it is awesome now you're gonna add your shrimp patties to your pan preheated on a six out of ten heat and then you're gonna see here is i didn't and this is the patty i didn't add the panko in and it's just not as put together it just doesn't stay together as well and you can see because it's chunky it's a chunky monkey and so what i did is i went back and i added seven grams of panko so it holds it together better i mean because if you want a chunky monkey a chunky patty you're gonna need some breadcrumbs in there just to hold it together so then i added it back to my pan then same process add your burger press on there press it down cook it on that side for about five to six minutes then you're going to flip repeat this process for the rest of the patties and then it is time to put together your shrimp burger you're going to add your toasted brioche bun your avocado your shrimp burger and then that bang bang sauce on top and then it is time to enjoy my friends Oh my, guys. Oh gosh, oh, 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 oh. Holy mama. Mm. So all the trident layers, guys. There's just so much. Oh man, this is a flavor ball. Got a little bit of the bang bang sauce on the face and a little bit of the avocado. Bye, man. Holy crap. Guys, this is nuts. Mm. The law of diminishing returns is not in play here. The law of diminishing returns would mean with each bite, it's less satisfactory. The more you do something, the less exhilarating it is. So the first bite is always the best. That's the easiest way to understand it. With this, man, each bite, I just feel like I'm going to a whole nother level of heavenly goodness. Okay, so you guys saw I had to add the panko in there instead of just doing it regularly. Um, it actually came out fine regularly. It's just not as stable. I only had to add like seven grams of panko to each one. So it wasn't that big of a difference, but just keep that in mind. If you wanna give it a try, it's just gonna be a lot more delicate. And you could probably do it without the panko if you were to like actually like food process the actual shrimp to like a mince. But I like the little chunks in there. You got the little, I like the little chunk lunks in there. That's what I'm talking about. Little chunk of lungs. You guys could just give, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, I did not know I had a little bit of cotto on the finger. I'm gonna ask for a, a thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. Didn't know I was gonna get a little surprise there. So if you're enjoying the video, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please hit that, just hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. And last but definitely not least, we have the salmon everything bagel burger. Oh my goodness. So first thing you're gonna need to do is take your shallot and you're gonna dice it up nice and fine. Then you're gonna take your salmon. Same process as we've done this whole time is you're going to 
slice up your salmon, you're gonna dice up your salmon, and then you're gonna mince it with your knife. I like to do this instead of the food processor just because you get a little chunk chunks in there to let you know what you're having. It's weird whenever you have a patty and it's just like this consistency, like you kind of like, is this really salmon or is this really shrimp or is this whatever, especially with fish, fish patties. So now once you have it nice and minced, you're gonna add your shallots, your dill, your salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and your panko, and you're gonna mix it all together super well. And then you're going to form into four equal size patties. Then you're gonna preheat your pan on a six out of 10 heat, add one of your patties on there, add your burger press, press it down nice and thin, make sure it's not stuck to the bottom. Use your spatula to make sure it's unstuck. Then you're gonna flip it. You're gonna cook it on each side for about five minutes. Look at the crust on there. That was a, a pleasant surprise. Then you're gonna repeat this process for all four of your patties. Then it's time to put together your bagel burger. You're gonna add down your everything toasted bagel, your avocado, then your salmon patty. Then you're gonna add some Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge to the top bagel, and then it is time to enjoy, my friends. Wow, we wow, we oh, look at this thing. It's a beast, dog. No, it's a beast. It's a beast. Oh my, whoa, wow. Avocado on this took a little poop out the bottom, but uh, we're looking good though. Avocado poop out the bottom. That's okay. That's kind of weird. I kind of ate it. Don't judge me, all right? This is judge free zone. Okay? It's my page. This is my channel. Okay? Now nah, you can judge me if you want, but can't, you just can't waste it. This whole video is absurdly delicious. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Burgers on burgers on burgers on burgers. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. Remember, thumbs up, gosh, thumbs up. It means the world, it helps the channel so much. Remember, make sure to enter the giveaway. Let me know in the comments below what is your, which one was your favorite from today's video. And remember, all recipes are in the description below. And if you want to check out all my best recipes of all time, first link in the description below. I love and appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.